This problem is covered in our CSAT book. Hi, hello. Now we are going to solve two problems from CSAT paper 2023 of UPSC Civil Services Preliminary Exam. Right? Fine. The first problem is 125 identical cubes are arranged in the form of a cubical block. How many cubes are surrounded by other cubes from each side? Options given are a 27, B 25, C 21, D 1 8. Right? Fine. See, <laughs> the most beautiful thing about this problem is, this problem is covered in our CSAT book, volume 2, page number 20 and 21 with respect to this cubes and cuboids chapter. Right? See, on page number 20, I will show one column which is there in our textbook. So, in this column, we are given an illustration, right? So, 2 by 2 by 2 cube, 3 by 3 by 3 cube, how it will be? See, generally, in cubes problem, there is a distinct pattern available which you must understand. See, in cubes, there are two varieties. Either many small cubes fuse together to form a big cube or one big cube is split into smaller cubes that's all now in this case in our problem many small cubes that is 125 identical small cubes have been fused together to form a big cube that's simple right fine now the question is the number of internal cubes see 125 is 5 cube that is 5 into 5 into 5 into sorry that is 5 into 5 into 5 3 times 5 right we just see the tabular column which is available in our textbook we just see the fourth column which is shown here in a 5 by 5 by 5 cube right the first thing is 27 blocks with zero sides painted here it is given that means in our case the number of internal cubes and also there is a formula which is shown on the other side that is page number 21 n minus 2 whole cube in our case 5 minus 2 whole cube which is 27 so this problem is directly from our csat textbook volume 2 page number 20 and 21 of cubes and cuboids only thing is you must understand the pattern i always uh, emphasize that cubes and cuboids are very easy to attack problem number two a three digit number abc on multiplication with the d gives 37 dd where a b c and d are different non-zero digits full stop what is the value of a plus b plus c option a 18 option b 16 option c 15 option d cannot be determined due to in insufficient data right fine see again this problem is very simple uh, if you think timely in a most logical way see the right side figure you consider the right side 37 dd that means uh, it could be 37 1 1 37 2 2 37 3 3 up to 37 9 9 see this they mentioned in the problem non-zero digits so i am not taking up 3700 so i am taking from 3711 to 37999 right fine now see one simple thing i'll tell you the left hand side consider the left hand side there is a three digit number which is a b c and multiplied by a single digit d it gives this three seven this this right fine now see let us say 800 into 5 it is 4000 so that means it cannot be 800 into 5 800 into 4 this is 3200 again it cannot be now you take this 900 into 4 3600 right 900 into 5 naturally crosses 3000 4000 that uh, given right hand side value is crossed right fine 900 into 5 it comes to 4500 which is heavier which is greater than the 37 dd right for so that is rejected now i am coming to a conclusion right 900 into 4 3600 let us fix on this let us fix on this because this number is 3700 so that means 
I will have to check now which one will fit in the criteria as given in the problem. That is ABC into D is equal to 37 DDD. Right? Fine. See, in case let us say 3711. That means D must be 1. That means D must be 1. In case D is 1, you take the left hand side ABC into 1 again ABC must come. So, definitely not possible. And the second thing is 3, 7, double 2. <coughs> See, now let us say D is 2. Let us say D is 2. Now, what could be A, B, C? <coughs> See, already we have 0 in on 900. So, maximum it can be, let us say, 930 into 2 also, it cannot come. Right? So, if you consider to 930 into 2 also it cannot match. So, that means that the 2 figure also cannot fit in. Even 940 into 2 also cannot fit in because it is 37. 900 into 2 approximately 1800 plus something is going to. So, which is totally uh, not under consideration according to the given conditions. So, 2 is also ruled out. Now, let us say 3. Let us say D is 3, right? D is 3. If you consider D as 3, already 900 into 3, 2700. And whatever you take, it cannot come close to 3700 also. So, the 3 is also ruled out. Now, let us take 4. D is 4, so, right? 3, 7, double 4 on the right hand side. That means here, a, B, C into D that is A, B, C into 4. Now, you see already I said 900 into 4 is 3600 which is very close. That means we have another 144, 3600 plus another 144 which is 3744. That means for another 144, here we have 4 that is D value is 4. 900 into 4 already I have taken. So, another 36 into 4, which is 144. So, 936 into 4. That's simple. See, this is just a kind of trial and error, but this is very easy kind of trial and error, which we can figure out with logic, basic simple logic, right? It's not time consuming. And the most saddest part is many of my aspirants have not attempted this problem, and whoever has attempted also did it wrong right i feel very sad for this but this is very simple problem right fine <laughs>